In this video, I'll share with you five of my favorite AutoCAD add-ins or plugins that you can use to become a super user in AutoCAD. All these plugins that I recommend in this video are completely free. Now, these plugins are Gridline, Drawing Purge, Auto W Block, Increment, and a special one that will help you convert a scan drawing into AutoCAD DWG file. And this one is directly from Autodesk. So stick to the end of the video to learn about that plugin. So with that, let's get started. All right, so let's start with the first plugin. But before I do that, let me show you where you'll find it. In the add-ins tab, I have all these plugins installed. Now, of course, in your case, the add-in tab will be different because these are custom plugins that I've downloaded and installed in my AutoCAD. Now, if you want to know how you can download and install these add-ins, which are completely free, then stick to the end of the video where I'll show you the proper steps. For now, these are the four add-ins that I'm going to show and also one extra plugin, which I've saved for the last. Okay, so let's start with this increment. So here we have this simple flow plan. We have some of these leader lines. And now I want to add the increment numbers, actually not numbers, but letters. So we want to add A, B, C, D, and all these letters here inside these leader lines. For that, I'll go to increment. And here, this is the grid increment option. So in this case, you can select either digits, letters, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, hexadecimal or Roman numerals. In this case, I'll select upper characters. Okay, now the start value is set to D, I'll change that to A. I want to start with A and then there will be an increment of 1, which means the next one will be B, then C, then D and so on. I'm not going to change anything else except for this one. This text tab has the text style that, of course, I'll select as a standard. If you have something else, you can select it from this list and also the justification, I'll make it middle center. Now the height of text, you should select it based on your drawing, which in my case, 6 inch looks kind of good on this drawing. It's going to look good. So I'll select six inch. And with that, click OK. And there we are. We've got A on our cursor. So all you need to do is just click at the center of the circle. And there it is. It's added. Now this, this, and just keep on clicking. And you'll have all of these letters added in increments, proper increments. Okay, that's one use case. Let's try it one more time for the rooms. So I'll go to this increment. And in this case, I'll select this digit instead of this upper characters. So there it is. Now the digit is, well, the start value is one and I'll actually add a prefix value as well. So room dash. Okay, so room dash or space, whatever you wanna add it, then one. Okay, that's how it will be added. So room one, room two, room three, and so on. Everything else is exactly the same. So I'll just click okay. And here we have room number one. Then we have room number two, three, four. And now you can, see how easy it is to label these things quite easily with this increment tool. Now, before we move any further, I want to share a completely free AutoCAD beginners course with you. If you are new to AutoCAD and you want to learn it in a step-by-step -step way, right from scratch, along with instructor support and a certificate of completion, then I have linked the course in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment. It's completely free and there are no conditions, no bells and whistles, just sign up and start learning. Now back to the video. Okay, next one in our list is grid line. Let's see what the grid line is. So here I've got these points. Now, let's say you want to make grid lines for that. Well, you don't need to make the grid line, then label A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. You don't need to do that. You can simply start with this grid line and then select the label, go to label and select the label which you want to apply. In this case, I want to use A, B, C, D as the label. So A is already selected. I'll leave that. But if it is something else, just type A, press enter and you're done. Now select the two points. So in this case, just make sure that you are selecting the same points. That's why I've created this grid to make it easier for me to select the points. But the points are not selectable. So I'll go to object snap and activate node. Now I can select the points. So first point, second point and we have this a a then select the second then we have b then we have c and d and so on so that's how we have added this first set of grid line now let's repeat it but for the vertical side now to do that i'll once again go to the grid line i'll go to label and instead of a i'll just type one now we have changed it so let's select this point this point and we have one then we have two three and so on so that's how you can label it quite easily once you are done with this you can even select these points 
deleted. And these are simple texts that you can double click and modify just in case you want to. Okay, the third one in our list is purge. Now, there is a purge tool inbuilt in AutoCAD, which is quite capable, I'd say. But if you want to purge multiple files or if you want to purge specific objects from your drawing, specific objects that are not even visible on your drawing, which is in the database of the drawing, then you can use this purge tool. So clicking on this purge tool will actually run a normal purge. And it looks like this drawing is already clean because I purged it before recording this video that's why it's clean but usually it will show you what it purged now the list is quite obvious as you can see this list is quite longer than the usual autocad purge command but here is the great thing about this plugin you can go to batch purge and now it's going to show you this option here you can select an entire folder and autocad will purge all the drawings in that folder not just that after purging you can save your file to an older version from this list. You can select an older version, it will save it in that. So in this case, I'll go to batch purge settings. And here, these are all the things that it's going to purge. You can check or uncheck anything that you don't want to purge. So that's really helpful. Not only that, if you want to save your drawing and you want to save it with a proper suffix, you have got this. You can add a suffix. For example, ABCD drawing dash purged. So you can add that suffix P-U-R-G-E-D here. Also, again, we have the same version control here. But in this case, I'm not going to change anything here. I'll simply go to batch purge. I'll select files. And here, uh, let's go to desktop. And on desktop, I have the source guide library and furniture. Now, this folder has, well, several of these files. So I'll just select the first one. Then I'll press and hold my shift key, select the last one. All of these files are selected. Click open and the list will load up. Now, if you don't want to do it like this, you can also go to select folder and just select that specific folder. For example, here in the source guide library, you can select furniture, click OK, and it will show basically the same thing. Once you are done with this, simply click on this purge option and it's going to run the purge command and everything will be purged. Now, of course, this drawing is already purged, so it's not going to do anything specific because, well, as you can see, it's already clean because, well, when testing, I purged it. So there it is. It's as easy as that. Now, the next one in our list is auto write block. Now, this one is also quite useful and it's useful if you want to create your own block libraries. Now, we have this drawing. It contains several blocks. Basically, it's an AutoCAD sample drawing, which is available with your AutoCAD. So in this drawing, if you go to Home tab and look at the list of blocks, well, we have all of these blocks. What if we want to export all of these blocks as separate DWG files? Well, we can use Write Block. Go to Insert and select the drop down, select Write Block. And here you can go to Block, select a block from the list. For example, in this case, I'll select Door and uh, specify the location where you want to save it. I'll go to desktop and uh, source guide library and maybe right inside this library, I'll save it. I'll not select any subfolder. You can select a unit if you want to, click OK, done. But what if you want to do it for several blocks in this list? Well, that's going to take some time, but this plugin will make it quite easy for you to export all the blocks as DWG files. Let me show you how. So go to auto W block, click on this checkbox and that's going to select all the blocks available in your drawing. If you want to, you can uncheck some of the blocks that are already exported. For example, door is already exported. So I'll just uncheck this one. And now you can specify the location where you want to save it. So I'll select this location, which is source card library right here. All right. Now you can also select the version. So 2018 is a version in which it's going to save it, but you can change it to 2013 or any older version. But I think that's just fine for our example. So with that, I'll click OK and it's exporting all the files as separate DWG. So now let's look at this folder source guide library. And inside this library, we have all of these DWG files. Basically, these are AutoCAD blocks written as separate DWGs. So that's again a great plugin. OK, now that you have seen the list, let's go to the last one, which is not actually a plugin, but a standalone tool and it's also from Autodesk. Well, all of these are not from Autodesk. They are from independent developers, but this one is from Autodesk and that's called Raster Tools. It's really great if you want to convert scanned drawings into proper DWG files that you can snap to or that you can use. Let me show you how it works. For that, I'll start by inserting a simple scanned drawing. Actually, it's an image. So go to Insert, 
And by the way, it just supports image files. So if you have PDF, you need to convert it into image before you can import it here. So there it is. So I'll go to desktop. And on desktop, I have this file, scan.jpg. I'll open it. And here is the wizard. For now, just click next, next, next in this wizard and finish it. And the drawing file is added here. Now, it's not quite useful in this way. So we just need to process it first. So let's go to process select change color depth and let's make it bitonal and it's going to convert it like this it may look like the drawing is completely gone it's washed out but if you zoom in you can see the details and that's the scan drawing now how do we make it useful well for that go to the snap option activate raster snap and you can activate all of these snap points and then go to primitives and from here you can select the objects and you can convert your scan data into these objects for example i'll go to line and now i'll simply go to any line in this drawing for example there are several so i'll just click on this line and now that line is converted into an actual line i'll click on few more lines here in this drawing so that's the second one uh, then we have this this and maybe a horizontal line as well like this and maybe a slant line like this one and this one so uh, basically this is not line that's for the dimension but that's fine for this example so we are done now that you have extracted it you can snap to it so there is a little bit of processing required but the end result is really better than other options available out there so let me hide this image to show you what we got so far so i'll select the boundary and i'll hide this image and this is the the result so in this way you can export it and you can extract drawing data and you can automate even most of these things using the raster tools i'm planning to make a full length video about the raster tools let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a complete video about converting a scanned image into proper autocad file and where to get this raster tool as well because by default it's not available if you want to know all about it in complete detail well, let me know in the comments and I'll make the video. Now, let's talk about installing these add-ins. Now, all of these add-ins are free. So, if you want to get it, just click on App Manager. And these are the installed add-ins. Let's click on this Launch the Autodesk Web Store. And you just need to sign in here with your Autodesk ID. After signing in, simply search for its name. For example, Auto W Block. So, I'll search for it. All right, and it's gonna show you the result here. So click on Auto W Blog, and here it is. This is the plugin. Select this, click on Download, and that's gonna download a file which you can install. After installing, the plugin will show up right here in the add-in section of AutoCAD. So that was my list of favorite AutoCAD add-ins or plugins that you should also use. Let me know in the comments down below what topic you want to see in the next video, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care.